welcome back to my channel my name is Madison it is nice to meet you this is going to be a very exciting daily vlog you guys know I love my productivity style videos and today we are going to be completing my entire to-do list I have a big to-do list for the day I'm gonna take you guys with me we are going to complete the whole thing I'm also going to give an in-depth look into how I tackle all my law school assignments so today we have reading assignments I have an assignment for my brief that I need to do. I'm going to be working on my outlines. So I'm really just gonna give you a holistic view on how I do all of my assignments in law school. So I really hope this video is helpful for you. I'm a first year law student and I vlog pretty much my life. And I try to give you guys tips and insight into what law school is actually like. I hope this inspires you to be productive, motivates you to get something done today. And I woke up this morning feeling really good, really ready to get some stuff done. So if you're new, you should definitely subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber. It means so much to me when you subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at madison.rector and turn my post notifications on as well. So first, we're gonna get into the to-do list. If you can hear my heater, I'm very sorry about that, but it is negative zero. I don't know what that means. Degrees outside right now, so it's cold and we are having a snowstorm here, so it's the perfect time to get some stuff done. First, we have my legal practice outlined for my brief. I will get more into this. Basically, a brief is something that you submit to the court giving your side's argument. So it's a piece of persuasive writing. So I have to do an outline for that that's due tomorrow. My con law reading for Thursday. I have my crim reading for Thursday. I want to update my con law outline. I want to update my Civ Pro outline. I want to update my Crim Law outline. I have some YouTube stuff I need to do. I need to compile my YouTube idea list. I want to respond to YouTube comments, respond to Instagram DMs, and we are also working out today because I am filming my workouts this week for a week of workouts video that I'm very excited about. So that's the to-do list for today and let's get into it. responding to YouTube comments that really didn't take that long, but it always just starts my day off on a good note. So one thing on the to-do list is done. Now we are going to move on to some schoolwork. So I'm going to start with the most pressing thing, which is the outline of my brief, which is due tomorrow. Basically, like I said, a brief is a piece of persuasive writing that you submit to the court. Usually each side submits a brief. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to have my five main arguments and then I'm just going to support each argument with, with quotes and pieces of information from cases. So this is a closed brief. We were given all of the materials that we needed to cite from. So we were given a packet of cases and that's kind of what we have to cite from. This isn't super serious. I just need to start getting my arguments together, start feeling more organized with it and start finding pieces of evidence to support the claims that I'm making in my brief. So let me show you what we got going on. So here's my outline so far. I'm not gonna go into details because why would I do that? But this brief is about attorney client privilege. I barely ever use my desktop, but I find that whenever I have a lot of PDFs and a lot of documents, it just is so easy to just pull them up on my desktop so that I don't have a bunch of windows open on my laptop. Here's all of the authorities I went through and I read it and I highlighted pretty much everything I could possibly need. What the plan is, is I'm going to put all my arguments in, find some proof supporting each argument, and then we will be set. I don't know how long this will take. It's 921 right now. I'm assuming I'll be done with it by 1030 or 11, but we will see. It is 1103. I just finished my outline. I think I said I was going to get it done by 1030 or 11, so we're making good time. And I'm actually kind of happy with it. It obviously needs a lot of work, but I feel a lot better now that we have at least started kind of putting my thoughts and arguments together. LP outline is done, and this morning I responded to comments. Now I'm debating what I want to do. I think we're going to do our con law reading so I can show you guys how I do course readings. Plus, I'm on call on Thursday, so I need to read it a little closer than usual. So I will show you guys how we do that. Law school readings are definitely different than undergrad readings and they're very hard. It's really difficult when you first start law school to read judicial opinions, but I will tell you it does get easier. At first it felt honestly like a foreign language, but you do get used to it after a while. So I have realized in my second semester it has been a bit easier. Con law is a really difficult class to read for just because a lot of the cases are older. So obviously it's more difficult to understand, it takes a little bit more time. So I'm just gonna share a couple of my tips for reading the judicial opinions in law school. The first and probably biggest tip is you have to be an active reader, truly. 
it's the easiest way to read the opinion and retain what you're reading if you're asking yourself questions as you go. Even if it's something that's really boring, this saved me my property class. Just really ask myself questions, comprehension questions. In this case, you can see that while I was reading it, I put a note in the margin that said structural reasoning because we're talking about modalities of interpretation in con law. I was reading this paragraph and I thought to myself, this seems like a structuralist perspective or modality of interpretation. So I put that in the margin. So I'm really just thinking about the course as a whole, asking myself comprehension questions, what is going on as I read. And that has been super helpful for me, especially for cases that are a little bit more boring. My other tip is to really highlight and take notes in the margin. As you guys just saw, I take notes in the margin. I don't brief cases anymore. Briefing may be helpful for you. For me, it just felt like a waste of time. I feel like a lot of law students come to that conclusion at some point during their law school career. For me, this semester, briefing has been completely useless. Haven't even done it because it's just a waste of my time. I'd rather be watching Netflix than briefing cases. So I just take notes of the margin and I just highlight as I go. I read this case for con law yesterday. It was pages 101 to 106 and I still have pages 113 to 128 to read. So let's see. A lot of this isn't really cases, it's just notes, which I'm not that big of a fan of. I'd definitely rather read cases than notes. The notes in the case books can be helpful sometimes, but I just think the con law notes are a little bit excessive. So it looks like we're reading Gibbons v. Ogden, Ogden, which is a case about the Commerce Clause. Hammer v. Dagenhart. I've never heard of this case before probably another interstate commerce case. This is probably gonna take me a while, honestly. I can get through Civ Pro readings and Crim readings relatively quick. Con law, I'm slow, I'm a grandma. So we'll see how this goes. We're starting at 11.10. I have a feeling this could take me easily over an hour to do. I'm hoping not, but it wouldn't surprise me if it did, especially since I'm on call, so I am reading it a little closer than I probably would if I wasn't on call. Just being completely honest, but Let's get started. I also forgot to mention every time before I read a case, especially in con law, I will watch the Quimby video for it. So that's like a big tip. It really does prime your prime your mind. You kind of get a, a little bit of an idea of what's going on. You know what's really important from the case. So when you read it, the important parts jump out at you more after you've watched the video. So I don't recommend that you rely solely on Quimby videos. I mean, sometimes you have to do what you gotta do but I do recommend that you use them definitely as a supplement to help you read a little bit quicker and also to kind of pull out the important parts before you even go into class. I just wanna watch this now. Contrary to what your law professor may have told you, Gibbons versus Ogden is not merely about the Commerce Clause. Okay, everyone, it is 12.02. I just finished my con law reading for Thursday. This is what my notes kind of look like. I think I'll be fine if I get cold called. Let's update the whiteboard. This sounds fun. All right. So we did con law for Thursday. And I also did my brief outline for Wednesday. Things are coming along. Let me update my phone to-do list. Unfortunately, while I was reading, I remembered that I had to do some things for legal research methods today, so we have two more things on the to-do list, but that's okay. I think since it's 12, I'm gonna take a break and work out, and then afterwards, I'll probably do my crim reading. Outlining is probably gonna be done tonight, so I'll probably do crim after I shower, eat lunch, and work out. Then I'll do legal research methods and then we will get all of the outlines done. And then YouTube stuff can be fun stuff that I do tonight. So I'm gonna get dressed and then we are going to go work out. All right, we are ready to work out. These are the Adapt Seamless leggings from Gymshark. These I think are my favorite Gymshark leggings. They're really great. I'm doing a leg workout today, but I'm not gonna film it and put it in the vlog because I'm filming it for a workout routine video. So stay tuned for that. But yes, we're going to do this. Am I in the mood to work out today? Not particularly, but we will get through it and be better off because we did it. All right, I first kind of wanted to talk about what makes law school assignments a little bit different from undergrad assignments. What makes them unique? Law school assignments require that you have 
an extreme amount of self-discipline. The reason for that is, I, I think in undergrad, there's a lot of busy work, at least I, that was my experience. And in law school, there's not a ton of that. It's either you do the readings or you don't. Nobody's gonna know if you skip a week of readings. Nobody's gonna know if you don't brief cases. Nobody's gonna ever find out. You're not gonna get penalized for that. However, when it comes to finals time and you realize you slacked off on three fourths of the course assignments and you didn't read any of the cases and you haven't started outlining yet, that's when problems start to arise. One thing I recommend to everybody who's coming to law school, planning to go to law school, understand that it takes an immense amount of self-discipline. There's nothing forcing me to read right now. I know that even if I got cold called on a case I didn't read, I would be fine. The reason I'm doing it is so that myself in April will thank me for doing the reading so that I'm not up until 3 a.m. every night cramming through cases and making my outlines the day before the exam. You have to be disciplined with yourself and tell yourself when you need to get things done or else you will be so stressed at the end of the semester. So I do think that that's kind of what differentiates law school from undergrad coursework is just the idea that you need a lot more self-discipline when it comes to law school because nobody's gonna be checking in on you and making sure you're getting things done. Now, there's a fine line between being self-disciplined and being way too hard on yourself and setting unrealistic expectations. It's important that you don't do that either. Here's my thing with these productivity videos. I love making them because they're the kinds of videos I like to watch. However, I don't know if you guys feel this way. Sometimes on a day where I'm being extra lazy, if I watch a video like this, instead of motivating me, it just makes me feel horrible about myself, wondering why I can't be productive. And you know, I think that's normal too. I hope my videos never make you feel that way because I think I'm pretty open with my audience that not every day is like today, sure. Today, I'm getting a decent amount done and I'm feeling really on top of things, but tomorrow I might not. This past weekend, I had a lot of time where I didn't do anything pertaining to law school at all, and that's okay. So I never want it to be unrealistic, my portrayal of, oh, I'm doing things every day, I'm working for eight hours a day, because you guys know, my viewers who watch all my videos know that's not true, and that's a message that I really want to make sure that I get across, because you can't be too hard on yourself. You also need to know yourself. I would say I have two to three really productive days per week. The other four days aren't the most productive, and that's okay, because on days like today where I'm feeling extra motivated, I'm cranking out a ton of work. If you're feeling really motivated one day, do some extra work. And then the next day when you aren't feeling as motivated, you don't have to beat yourself up and you can take some much needed time off. That's kind of just what I wanted to briefly talk about when it comes to law school assignments, law school coursework in general, being productive, all that stuff is, you know, you have to be self-disciplined, but also be kind to yourself and don't go too hard. I'm gonna finish getting ready. Like I said, I'm not getting ready for anything. I'm just, you know, getting ready to feel better about myself. And then we will read Krim, and then we will do some more work. I took about a two hour break where I worked out, showered, ate lunch, and that's usually what I do. I'll work in the morning till about noon, and then I'll take about a two hour break, and then I'm refreshed and ready to get back to it in the afternoon. That's just my strategy and what works for me on days where I need to get stuff done. I will update you guys in a few minutes. We are about to start my crim reading for Thursday. We have pages 661 to 685. Pretty typical 24 pages to read. I have two cases and we are talking about mens rea or the intent element. This is gonna probably go quicker than my con law reading even though my con law reading was shorter. Just because like I said, con law is generally harder to understand and I'm not gonna read this way too intently because I just got cold called last week so I know I'm not gonna get called on again. So I will read it. I'm just not gonna make as detailed of notes in the margins just to save myself a little time. So we're gonna work on this and then we will have all the readings for this week for classes done. I love when I do this and then and you can see on my face, that's great. Anyways, I finished Crim. We are getting so much done today, guys. That only took about 40 minutes, so really not that bad. Now I'm gonna move on to legal research methods, which is not my favorite. So basically, we just have these assignments that we have to do every week. It's not blue booking. Blue book stuff is separate. These usually take me quite a bit. Yeah, so this one's about administrative decisions, and this will probably take me a little bit just because the questions are really hard and I have to go through and you know, work through them one by one. This is my least favorite thing. It's due tomorrow or else I honestly wouldn't do it today. But I forgot about it. And it is the one thing that I don't want to do. But we're going to get it done. And then I will take another break because frequent breaks really help me be more productive. It is 
is a lot later now. It is 7.29 and I always do this and this is like my ritual whenever I'm updating my outlines. I always watch Survivor and update my outlines at the same time. So I just finished updating all my outlines. I will show you what one of them looks like and kind of how I strategically organize my outlines. Here's the thing. A lot of this is subject to change. I just like to have my outlines started and up to date for each class. I try to update them weekly, every other week, but by finals time, they're going to change a lot and they're not going to look like this probably because I move things around as I start taking practice tests. I add things, I take things out. You know how it is, but let me show you what my con law outline looks like. So this is my one note for the class. So I'm going to minimize that. This is what I have so far. Basically, all I did was take the course syllabus and I just copied it straight into my Word doc. So the first section was the Constitution and its interpretation, modalities, originalism versus living constitutionalism, and I just straight copied that down. Then I start filling it in with important rules from cases. Well, if we're doing Marbury versus Madison, I kind of give a brief synopsis. So I just put very basic things having to do mostly with cases. Yeah, this is what it looks like so far. I've spent probably the past hour working on this one. This one needed the most work. My CRIM outline and my Civ Pro outline only needed a couple classes worth of notes in there, but this one I hadn't really started yet, so I'm very glad that this is done. I have to compile my YouTube video idea list. I will show you that, and then I have to respond to Instagram DMs. So, I think I'm gonna finish. I'm on the last episode of Survivor Pearl Islands right now, which, guys, look at this. This is how type A I am. Are you ready? I have a literal list of the Survivor seasons, and I am checking them off as I go. Hopefully, I'll be able to start a new season tonight while I'm editing this video. But basically, I'm feeling really productive today. I kind of had a little bit of a breakdown. I'm not even gonna lie. It's rough. This semester is really rough. I've been saying that in every single video, and it's just because, you know, it's it's very up and down. Some days I feel pretty good about the semester, some days I feel really behind, I'm very stressed about jobs and things like that. So that's just kind of real life right now. Today I did have a relatively good day, but I did have a couple of, of low hours, I'm not gonna lie. I do like to keep it honest on this channel with how I'm feeling, my mental health. Anxiety wise, I've been okay, you guys know I struggle with anxiety sometimes. It hasn't been that bad, but stress truly is through the roof right now and hopefully in the next couple of weeks things will get better who truly knows so i'm going to show you how i'm going to compile these lists See, every once in a while on the community tab i will ask you guys for video requests and ideas and you guys always give such good suggestions and i'm always really happy and i don't just ask for them just for the sake of asking i actually look at them so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to open up a google doc and basically put all of your ideas in there and then whenever I'm low on video ideas I can just drop in and grab one. Ultimately, obviously this is a hobby for me, I love making videos, but you guys are the ones that are watching them so I definitely want to give you guys the content you want to see. So I'm going to compile these all into a list, answer my Instagram DMs, and then I will be done. My to-do list will be complete for the whole day. Okay everyone, we have officially completed my entire to-do list. Today has been great. I hope this was satisfying for you. It's very satisfying to me to start the day with a to-do list and accomplish every single thing. Now the only thing that's technically left is editing and uploading this video because I want to post it tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it inspired you, motivated you to get some work done, and if you're taking a day off, enjoy that too because you totally deserve it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. You can give it a like, and I will talk to you guys in my next video that will be on Friday. I'm uploading a lot this week, so I hope you guys enjoy that. I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.